Hi, I'm Vicky Jarrett. This is Portobello Beach in Edinburgh and I'm going to read my short story, Always North. If I could arrange time in a circle, sit the separate moments around a table, say, or in a semicircle, a horseshoe shape, like teeth in a mouth, then I could be right across from the one where the bear's breath is hot on my face and the stink of his blood-wet breath is nearly knocking me off my feet. The smell so strong it nearly suffocates the fear, but not enough to stop me pissing myself. It runs hot out of the bottom of my waterproof trousers and steams over my boots. The bear grins, licks his black lips and opens his jaws wide to show me the yellow spikes of his teeth. This far north, and we're about as far north as it's possible to be. The sky comes curving out towards you from the horizon, low and flat, like a closing lid. The sky and sea rolling together like two huge wheels. And the ship heading for the joint, pulled in towards the meeting at that line, that vanishing point, where everything is crushed together and it all becomes one chest wafer of nothing. The sun never sets, and we all crave darkness. Heather, the captain, stabs a thick weathered finger at one of the display monitors and glares at Angus. He doesn't even know what fucking day it is, he spits. Angus is pale. I can tell he hasn't slept for days. The stubble covers half his face and his eyes are red rimmed and watery behind his glasses. He winces and rattles the keyboard. I don't know what's happening, he says. The timestamps are all over the place. They keep getting out of sync. I've run the diagnostics, but I'm just getting crap back. It's not just one problem. There must be multiple failures. As soon as I track one, another one pops up. I can feel my blood splash down from my throat onto my chest, staining it black. And I can see his throat vibrating with a roar that goes on forever across the great white silence. The empty space between each piece of my heart expands and stretches out and out and out until I can't hear it anymore. The sun finally slips from the sky and sinks into the sea. Summer is over and this is the time to sleep.